Welcome to today's presentation. In today's presentation, we are going to look at uh, gradients of tangents and our question reads, the gradient of the tangent to the curve y is equal to ax cubed plus bx at the point 1 comma 1 is negative 5. Calculate the values of a and b. Well, in this question we are given the equation of the curve and the equation of the curve we are given as y is equal to ax cubed plus bx and in the equation we are told that its gradient, the gradient of this curve, the curve represented by this function here, its gradient is negative 5. So we can determine the general equation for the gradient of that curve, which is also known as the gradient function, that is dy over dx. And this simply means we differentiate this function here y is equal to ax cubed plus bx and when you differentiate that we need to get 3ax squared plus b so this is called the gradient function and the gradient function uh, represents the gradient of the curve at any point along the curve so we have identified a, a specific point and that is point 1 comma 1 so at 1 comma 1 the gradient that is dy over dx is negative 5 as you are given in the equation so this information here is very very important in that we are going to use it to determine the values of a and b in a way so how does this point here help us it will help us because at this particular point, we will know the value of x. And if we know the value of x, we can substitute it in this equation here. And therefore say that dy over dx, which is 3ax, and x we now know is 1. The x coordinate here is 1. Rather, the x coordinate is 1. And we are not interested in the y coordinate because at this particular step, we don't need it here. It's just the gradient function dy over dx and there's no y here. So with this we can have 3a into 1 squared. Remember this is x, x squared plus b. And that we're told is negative 5. So here we can see we already have an equation formed. 3a plus b is equal to negative 5. So we can have this as our first equation of the simultaneous equations that you are going to solve to get the value of a and b. So with this, we need to ask ourselves, how do we form the next equation? So back to the equation, remember at this particular point, we know the value of x and we know the value of y. So we can use the value of x and y for this particular point and do our substitution in the equation, the original one. And that means if we have y is equal to ax cubed plus bx, and we know that the value of x is 1 and value of y is 1, then we can just substitute in this equation here and get the second equation to this one. So y is 1, that means we have 1. So we replace y with 1. And then on the right hand side, we'll have a into 1 cubed. Remember, x is still 1. Plus b into x, which is 1. So with this, this means we have a plus b. And that should be equal to 1. So that gives us the second equation. Now we are going to solve the two equations at the same time. So we have... 3a plus b is equal to negative 5 and we also have a plus b is equal to 1. So at this particular point we can see that we here we have b and b which is the same for the two equations. So we can solve this by eliminating b first. So we are applying elimination and for this particular case we have both of them are positive that means we subtract. So 
We are doing this because if we take positive b minus positive b, that will be 0, and therefore b is eliminated. So we'll only have 3a minus a, which is 2a. And we had said this is 0. And then on the right-hand side, we have negative 5 minus 1, and that is negative 6. So that simply means the value of a is negative 3, if you divide both sides by 2. Now, given that we know the value of a, we can get the value of b, and preferably, I believe this second equation here will be nice to work with. So, we know the value of a, so a is negative 3, plus b is equal to 1. So, what is b? Negative 3 crosses to the right-hand side, and we'll have b is equal to 1 plus 3, and finally b is obtained as 4. So that is the value of b. Finally, we can just come and note this down, that the value of a is negative 3, and the value of b is 4. And finally, we have the solution to the problem. We have obtained the value of a and b as was required in the equation, the value of a and b. So guys, that is the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.